up YouTube? This is Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. I'm going to show you how to change your brake light or your brake light bulb uh, on a 2016 Ford Transit. This is the uh, Transit 350 XLT. Just opening up the back door here. Just If you pull this, unlock the door, let it fold around that direction. That'll uh, give us a little bit more room to work. To take off this uh, tail lamp assembly, there's just two screws here that are uh, holding that in. And those are a T25 Torx bit, or they're also slotted. You can use a regular flathead screwdriver. We'll just loosen and remove those. Okay, now once you have those two those two screws out, you can see the, the light is loose, but it's still being held in place by two little pins. It's almost like a little pin in a socket at the top and the bottom. And all we need to do is, is kind of pull on this. Um, you can pull it towards you at the top and at the bottom. You can see these are these little these little pins right here, they go into these holes and you kind of just got to pop them out past that little shoulder. So in this case, the bulb that's out is this, this top uh, brake lamp bulb. And uh, it's kind of nice, there's actually a, a warning light on the dash that tells us. And uh, you can just twist that counterclockwise, take it out, pull out the old bulb. And the new bulb is a 3057. Uh, I picked these up at O'Reilly, but uh, I'll see if I can't find them online and put a link in the description for you. Now, when you take out the new bulb, it's a good idea to wear gloves. Uh, you, you really don't want to get any oil or grease on the surface of that bulb, but uh, the new one just snaps back into place. There's these little tabs. You can just line those up, put it back in, press it in, and then turn it. Turn it. Uh, clockwise till it locks in place. All right, and then we can just line up those these little parts that come out right there, those little tabs, the bottom one and the top one. See how that's lined up there, ready to go into that hole there, and that one down there. You got to be be careful here to get underneath this little hinge part before you press that in, and then you can see. There, I've got it. I've got it lined up right there, the top, and that bottom one is harder to show, but it's lined up as well. And then once those are lined up, just give it a firm push on the bottom and at the top, and then we can put these screws back in. And just snug those down. Don't need to get too tight with those, but uh, just as long as it holds it snug. And you're done. Pretty quick, easy job. Um, hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to the bulb as well, along with the, uh, the list of tools needed. Really pretty simple. You can do with a standard flathead screwdriver. There's a uh, there's a close-up on that fastener there. You can see that that's slotted, but uh, the T25 Torx bit fits in there as well. But uh, thanks so much for watching, and good luck.